I know it's been a while. If you're new, subscribe. Stop simping shirts, link in the description. The number one thing I always press to y'all, especially in Dayton, is vet these women. Do your car facts. Do your history check. A lot of people are gonna shame you, try to call you insecure and all this shit. You are saving yourself time. You're saving your life minutes. If you just simply find out what type of person you are dealing with before everything gets started. We about to get into this video and I want you to see how nonchalant cheating is, being promiscuous is, and how all the girls are laughing and saying period after the shit and all of that foolishness. All of that. We're going to get into it and I'm, I'm going to stop the video as many times as I want. This is my shit. Like, I'll be like, let the video play. I can't remember all this shit I want to say. I'm going to miss some of the stuff. So damn, bear with me. All right? Put an ice pack on your fingers before you even leave a comment. Relax. Hot hands. YouTube comment fingers. Some of y'all ain't even smashed the like button yet. That's crazy. I'm, I mean, why are you single? Because people lie to each other and they cheat. That's a red flag right there. The fact that she think that is the norm. The fact that not being loyal is the norm. The fact that people lie to each other and people cheat is so normalized and it just flowed out so quickly. That's a red flag. These are regular conversations. You know what I'm saying? You ask somebody, what happened with your ex? She said she cheated. They was both cheating. You need to have this conversation. Somebody blurred out or say some shit like that. That's a red flag. Guard your heart. Three stacks. Okay. So that's why I'm single. So you, you think that's going to change at some point? Me being a cheater or a liar? <laughs> <laughs> People being liars. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> People being liars. The women are laughing. <laughs> Me being a cheater or a liar. Do you think that's going to change at some point? It's hilarious. Let a group of men have a podcast or have some shit and they just discuss openly cheating and it'd be funny. It'd be a viral video to shit be on Spiritual Word somewhere. People be like... We need to take all these mics away from men. Stop men podcasting. Who gave these guys mics? Let's freaking petition this to, to have Amazon and Best Buy stop selling these guys mics. It would be totally different. But since women are at the round table, look at the cheer for cheerfulness on the young lady on the right's face. It's just, it's giggles. We out here in these streets. Ha ha, ha ha. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Do you think you're gonna get in a relationship at some point in time? <laughs> okay, so when I make a statement, like it's not a sweeping generalization. Everyone right. doesn't cheat. Everyone doesn't lie. As for uh, me and the last nigga I dated, we was cheating and lying. So that's we. why I'm seeing we. So like you was cheating too. I was cheating and why? lying. Why? Why would I, uh, both of them was cheating? Pack that shit up, guys. Go your separate ways. Have an open relationship. When you step outside, at least use protection. I know this is happening with this young lady. She going to feel the vibe, open them legs. You can go in there any way you want to go. Use a balloon, not use a balloon. Do whatever you feel like you want to do. I can already peep from the energy on the video. Somebody could have a child. Somebody could catch a STD. We still in a pandemic, COVID. Bit monkey pox. She go out and cheat and come back with monkey pops on the booty cheeks. You don't know where the monkey pox came from. Guess where they going next though? On your joint. They just out here. Shorty next to her still is smiling and amused. Like, I feel the same way, but I wouldn't be brave enough to say anything like this on camera and put it on the internet. Look at the energy. Just peep the energy. You cheat. Oh, I was cheating. And why? Lying. Why would you cheat? Oh, yeah. He said, "Why would you cheat?" And she said, "Oh, you know what that all mean? Oh, you're you're so clueless, and you're so dumb. You don't know that there are women out here on demon time too. You don't know that there are women out here moving around." Reckless, getting dug out, getting their ankles knocked loose around the clock, and going back home and kissing their man out here in these streets, getting tore to shreds, and going home and cuddling their man. How was your night? It was just okay. Meanwhile, her ankles are by her ear. Her ankles are by her ear. Put the image in your head. That's what's happening. That's what they, you, you think your girl going to Vegas? You think your girl going to Miami? You think your girl going to Houston? You think your girl going to LA on a girl's trip? Just to have fun with the girls? Most of the time, 80% of the girls that's going on a girl's trip single anyway. They ain't had no other choice to go on a girl's trip. Ain't like they had a man to take. But the 20% that's in a relationship, you don't think that 80% is encouraging them to be reckless? Come on, girl, live a little. We had a time last night. 
Huh? That's the saying, ain't it? We had a time last night, huh? You got them ankles knocked loose last night and went back home to your hard-working, loving man. But in this case, both of them was cheating, so both of them stupid to me. I'm not just on her head top. Both of them dumb, reckless, risking their life. Couldn't be me. And once again, look at the energy in the video. Everybody's smiling and laughing. This is hilarious. Aw, you don't really think we out here thought. You you really don't think we're in these streets. You really don't think if the right guy with the right amount of money, the right amount of swag, right amount of jewelry, right amount of, don't, don't come through, I'm not just gonna open up the floodgates. It's happening, bro. You can think it's not happening all you want. No, not my, no, no, not my girl, not my baby. Not my little pookie wookie, stookie wookie, flooky wookie, pookie. Shit. I'm telling you, keep your eyes open. Vet them in the beginning. Know what you're getting into. It's happening, bro. It's happening. The love of your life. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. It was like an impulsive thing. I was just cheating. Impulsive. I was younger. I was it was just an impulsive thing. I was just cheating. She make that shit sound like an excursion every day. And then just go home. It was like 27. I was, hold no. up, hold up. We're going back. We're going back. No, it was like an impulsive thing. I was just cheating. Impulsive. I was younger. I was like 27. I was, I was younger. I was 27. 27 and date. That's not young. Especially for a lady. You, you damn anybody. We throw that biological clock starting to tick, 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 tick. And you talking about I was 27. I was just young. And you was out here moving like that. A lack of accountability. A lack of maturity. 27 consistently cheating on a man with whoever. Once they cheat one time, it's easier to do it again. Bodies on bodies. Bodies on bodies, bodies on bodies. They trying to see who can murder the most bodies. Outside. I was young, I was 27. Grow up, fam. And this is what I'm talking about. They taught to live up them 20s. Wild out your 20s, enjoy your 20s. And then you settle down. Which one is it? You probably be wilding out in your 20s and then settle down or working hard in your 20s for you have an easier 30s and 40s. Which one is it? Who gonna wipe that up? Who gonna see that? Say, say she did this shit at 27, right? Say she, she's 30 now, 32 now. If I'm dating her, I'm looking at this shit, I'm just like, I'm in disgust watching this. I'm like, damn, this is my lady? This how she used to act? This how she known in the streets? That I'm holding her hand and shit? This is what it is? It's a cold world. It's a cold world. People are like, oh, you're insecure. That shouldn't matter. She's with you now. Don't be a fool. Don't be Bobo the fool, bitch. If you was a murderer, you got off, and you better believe all the family gonna remind, remind her ass, I can't believe you with that man that murdered them people. If you stole from a store, you was a thief. You was a thief five, six years ago, and you with her, and, and the family know you steal, and was a thief, and then been locked up. Do you think they're not gonna bring that up? Yeah. I can't believe you dating that thief. Can't trust him, can't ever trust him. You never know if he's gonna steal from you. You never know if she's gonna go out here and be in the streets. You never, people have a funny way of using shit when they wanna use it. You know what I'm saying? They'll use certain examples and shit, but if you use it as far as the past and hold people accountable, that's all you insecure, all you misogynist, all. No, I'm holding you accountable. I have boundaries. If you don't like it, whoop de doo go find the bobo the fool. No, 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 like we were both cheating and lying and you know, just caught up to us, and so now we're here. I don't know, so you're gonna have to explain it to me. You want me to explain to you yes, why I was cheating, or why he was cheating, or why, why you I'm were single? Cheating. Um, I was cheating because it was fun. <laughs> Buckets, bruh. Buckets! Buckets! And the great words of the late, great Kevin Samuels, you cannot make this ish up. You cannot make this ish up, bruh. I was cheating because it was fun. The th what, what what part? Just getting meted down and then going back home and cuddle? The thrill of getting caught, putting somebody else's life in jeopardy because a man running to another man, you never know what's going to be possible. Somebody could be strapped up, whatever. No people fight. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. The fear of catching the STD, spreading the disease, even you calling you catch some shit. Where, the, where does the fun lie? In that, little, in that little 15, 20 minutes of pump and dump? Tell me. Somebody in the comment section, tell me. It's fun out here for some to cheat, to have community ankles, to be passed around, but still not want to be judged for it and not want to be looked at for it. And people really get mad. Like, oh, you don't have a right to judge this person. You're like, Look, man, your actions have, every, every cause has an effect. If you move around this way, this is what people gonna think of you. All right? If I work out really hard, this is how my body gonna look. If I eat terrible, this is how my body gonna look. Every cause has an effect. 
Every action has a reaction. She outside having fun cheating and going home and getting cuddled up. That bit probably holding her tight, kissing her in the mouth. All kinds of Hopefully she at least probably ran to the shower, ran star real quick before he at least hugged and gave a kiss. Hey, welcome home, babe. Probably kiss the man right in the mouth. Right in the mouth, man. Didn't even brush your teeth. Didn't use no Listerine. It's wild out here. And the internet made it worse. These podcasts made it worse because people are openly just being honest and telling their truth. Not realizing what the hell they actually saying. They might be realizing it. They just don't care. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Literally. I, 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 I was cheating because it was fun. Because it was I'm fun. The camera. Hold on. I got to stop again, bro. Everybody's still laughing. The girls are laughing. It's it's funny when girls say, like, talk to other girls and they say they're cheating. It, it, not all women are like this. Some women are going to hold you accountable and be like, I don't think that's cool. I don't want to be your friend. Fellas, you want your girl to have a friend that's going to hold her accountable. Not a bunch of single friends. Not a bunch of friends, I guess. Not a bunch of girlfriends that's going to sit next to her and laugh at this mess. It's not funny. This is not funny. I was cheating because I was having a great time. Period. So you had a you had a greater once. time with someone else than you did with no, your No, I I enjoyed cheating and then I enjoyed going home to my boyfriend and being like, "Hey baby, I had a great time in hey, Miami." Yo. I No remorse. Savage. Savage. All y'all y'all need to run into one of these. This is going to get you right. You run into one of these and that'll get you right. And I'm trying to tell you, a lot of people going to say, "Oh, some Pinda, you must run into who hurt you?" Man, listen. I've sent women home back to their man. I sent them back. You got to go back home to your husband. You got to go back home to your man. You got to go back home. You got kids. Go go back to them kids. They out here. They're out here. Teachers, uh, nurses, dentists, lawyers. Don't think it's just the hood rats. They're out here. Any profession, any level of education. It can happen. It can happen, bruh. And a lot of times when women move like this, they're already clocked out mentally. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, they already clocked out. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. She has got to be clocked out. Might have some daddy issues, some shit that happened to her when she was a child, just to be able to move around and talk like this freely, like no remorse. Knowing the guy that she used to date going to see this. Knowing his homie's going to see this. You think they ain't showing him this? This is embarrassing. Really? It's Technically, he should know, right? Like Miami. Yeah, like LA. what do niggas do when they go to DR? Cabo, Colombia. Yeah. They go to the they beach. What do niggas do when they go to Colombia? Oh, Bible yeah. study. Bible study. Yeah. 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 Look. All right, I'm going to wrap the uh, the video up right there as far as that. I'll, I'll talk, tap on what do guys do when they go to DR, what do guys do when they go to Columbia. I know 10,000 people that's been to Miami. I know 20 people that's been to the DR. They, they comparing apples to oranges. That it don't even add up. Like it's, it's not adding up. I see what she's trying to do there. But the fact of the matter is, there's no accountability. They still not acknowledge. She's not acknowledging like, yeah, that was wrong. Yeah, we both were wrong. We ain't even getting that. And at the end of the video, the guy asked, hey, do you ever think you would be in like a relationship where you didn't cheat? And her response was, yeah, I could be. You know what I mean? If I choose to and make the hard decision. I mean, people cheat. Let's be honest. Like people cheat. Why? You just proved your point. You a liar. I don't think that there's a real reason, right? <laughs> like, if you're somewhere and you're feeling the vibes, like, naturally, like, mammals, we're mammals. We're not, like... <laughs> So, so you don't believe in monogamy? Men and women are monogamous. I don't think. I think that we can be if we choose to be, and we make like the hard decisions to be those type of people. That's not a hard decision. It's a hard decision for you to be loyal. It's a hard decision for you to hold yourself accountable. It's a hard decision for you to not be out here in these streets. If that's the case, you don't need to be in no relationship, or at least you need to tell them off the top. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Vet them. Ask them about the past. Ask them about their future. Let let women talk. Have a couple drinks. It's going to spill out. Get around their friends. See what they find funny. See how her friends act. That's her. Stop thinking y'all girl like, that's not my girl. She would never. Bit people that are the same hang together. Teachers hang around teachers. Doctors hang around doctors. Athletes hang around athletes. Wives normally hang around other wives. Husband, same old shit. If you dating somebody, you get a girl, y'all fresh, you meet her friends and they wild and you just peeping like, yo, how do you hang around these people? She was recently one of those folks. You put the cape on and saved her, fam. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. I'm going to wrap this one up right there. Appreciate y'all coming through. If you're new, subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Smash the like button. Public interviews just dropped. That shit popping up at the end of the video. Don't click away. I'm out of here, man. Y'all be safe. Stop simping. Link in the description.